all of us have that sort of dream of what our life looks like and I guess this is what I imagined my life to look like. Where I really established myself in fashion was with a Melbourne label called Metallicus. So I really had a very well-rounded experience of running a brand and a business. I just felt there was very limited quality boutique style basics in the industry. I used to pitch the idea to my boss back then and it never really happened, so I just decided to do it myself, I guess. For some reason, I was really fearless. You know, I was gonna be my own boss and I was gonna, you know, make my own path. But what I did know is that whatever I did, I felt like I had to create it as a brand from the very, very beginning. It wasn't just a product that I was gonna sell. I was very focused on how I was gonna communicate this brand. We've got this ability to adapt to our customer's life no matter, you know, what she's doing. So if that means she's working from home, um, if it means that she's spending time with her kids more, um, we kind of, as a brand, very easily adapt to that. We've all been able to kind of reassess how we want to work, how much time we want to spend with our kids. Working five days in an office is not going to be normal for us ever again. There's just so many amazing things that have come out of it. Yeah, I just like, you know, I'm not really focusing on any of the negative really. I think it's been very seamless, you know. Everyone just got on with things, re-forecasted. We've got a really amazing, loyal customer that for her, shopping online was easy. She knows what we do. She understands our quality. She understands our sizing and we're there for her. Sustainability has always been a part of our brand DNA. I think the very first time I ever wrote a bio, which would have been, you know, 15 years ago, we were all about natural fibres, textiles that leave a lighter footprint on the planet. I was very committed to being Australian made and I still am, you know, predominantly Australian made. We use 100% Australian merino wool. We trace where we get our wool from, and it's from farms in Adelaide, actually. Our cotton is organic cotton that's GOTS certified, which is a global organic textile certification. We get that from overseas, but it's knitted here. If we found a better quality cotton somewhere else that's gonna last in your wardrobe forever, because that's what we really want. We'll source that because that's the most sustainable thing that you can really do. We work very closely with people who develop our fabrics. Our bamboo, which is one of our most popular um, fabrications that we use, we develop that with our supplier. So I think like when you think about creatives, they come in so many different forms in our industry. Like they're not just photographers, they're not just designers. They are the actual people who are sitting there programming machines to knit what you want them to knit. Also having that social responsibility. Supporting a local industry is really important to us. Really nurturing the creatives that we have right here in Melbourne. It's about timeless, enduring design. It's about being conscious of the fabrications we're using and what that does to the planet. And I think that that's the most sustainable thought. I don't go intentionally seeking inspiration is just kind of what's around me. I think I approach it more in a very, um, each collection in more of a emotive kind of way, like what I'm kind of feeling at that moment or what I'm seeing at that moment. This collection is, it's definitely very relaxed, but there's kind of a play on silhouettes, beautiful pops of colour, but then those new neutrals that are thrown in so that she can reimagine what a neutral is, you know, is it the different shades of tan or nudes or is it different shades of greens or yellows that are gonna continue to adapt from one season to the next. So I think, yeah, I really feel like this collection for us is a bit of a, yeah, a, a beginning, a new beginning for us, which is really nice.